What's up, Raging Nation? This is Alex Yu, and we're at an undisclosed location in Portland, Oregon, home of Western Star Trucks. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's the truck manufacturing company for the alt mode of Optimus Prime from Transformers Age of Extinction. Come along with me, and I'm gonna give you an up close and personal look at the hero and leader of the Autobots. Let's roll out. <laughs> Wow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I do not believe this. I'm, I'm looking at the leader of the Autobots right now. I didn't think he would be this enormous. I feel like a kid right now. I feel like I received a G1 Optimus Prime as a Christmas present. When you see this guy on screen and when you see this guy in person, it's two completely different things. Wow, I mean, just take a look at this guy. Now, I haven't even looked at the whole thing yet, but this is just phenomenal. This is a piece of art. What's up, Optimus? Long time no see. <laughs> rolling out in Optimus Prime right now and we have Rex driving and we have Chris Jory. Good morning. Morning to everybody here and Chris was responsible for a number of things. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you were involved? Michael Bay's production department got a hold of us because the trucks that we built previously, you know, one, you know, two and all the custom trucks that we built. My responsibility is for a project manager, bringing together not only our design team within Daimler Trucks North America, various other outside designers and vendors, Eric Black from Lee Black Design, Twins Custom Coaches, which pretty much built the entire truck, and then other vendors that make parts, components, and I was responsible for bringing all of those teams and groups together to produce Optimus Prime. You've seen the movie, what do you think? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So we got to see it in 3D yeah. with Michael Bay and obviously the whole crew of actors and the staff that worked on the, on the movie. Yeah. And Andy and I took our kids and families and saw it in Portland the next week when we got back. So all in all, yeah, awesome. Awesome, right? Lots of footage of the truck. How do you feel about how Optimus was portrayed? Like all the scenes as a truck and a, and a robot. It exceeded expectations from day one when we finished the truck and took it to Michael Bay's facility in Playa Vista in LA. Yeah. Everybody that saw it thought the truck looked like a robot. It had character. Yeah, yeah. That's a major accomplishment and that compliment to the movie. Yeah. Um, yes, what they did, what Michael Bay did was phenomenal. When they told you that you guys get to design a new truck for trans the next Transformers film, how do you how did you feel? I'm gonna be pretty humble about this. I've worked on and what our group does yeah. is conceptual vehicles, new design, yeah. butterflies probably to start with, <laughs> knowing the time frame we had to work with and yeah, we yeah. didn't have any physical trucks. Yeah. But all in all, I mean, incredible experience. For sure. Absolutely. absorb that and run with that. Yeah. Was, 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 it's quite a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I can imagine. Well, we're all done here. Uh, that was uh, pretty awesome to roll around in Optimus Prime. I'd like to say thanks to Rex for driving and thank you to Chris for uh, for you know spending a little time with us to uh, tell us about the Optimus Prime and the process of designing this. So uh, thank you very much, Chris. Really thank appreciate you. it. You're welcome. All right, cool. Uh, thanks, let's, Rex. Yeah, thank you, Rex. And uh, we're gonna head outside and take a look around <laughs> Optimus Prime. <laughs> when designing Optimus Prime, you obviously had to have standard truck parts right like like so that it's functional right but can yep. you tell me what isn't functional i mean just for the movie things that aren't functional are the exhausts okay and the side exhausts okay initially we were going to make the exhaust functional yeah we decided it wasn't necessarily required mm -hmm. and if 
they need to in production, we can put smoke bombs in it to oh. simulate that. Yeah. That said, what you'll see is unique is the headache rack. The exhaust is mounted to the headache rack. In here we have a flexible joint yeah. because this part of the exhaust is cab mounted, so they move independently. All of that, complete 100% custom fabrication. Yeah. We've added mud flaps for mm -hmm. street legal. Yeah. In the movie it doesn't. Michael wanted the fenders cut short so you can see motion mm. by seeing the tire tread. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much the whole fender assembly yet again. Completely custom for this this application. Yeah. What kind of things that um, are some specific features that you think are, are really unique about this, this, this truck? Things that I love yeah. are the rocker panels, especially okay. the exhaust tips. Yeah. May seem simple, may seem like a little bit of chrome. Yeah. That's all billet aluminum. Yeah. All machine. And then the grating inside. Flames especially. Had to that have was e evolution and iteration after iteration to come up with the correct design. Yeah. Maybe not traditional hot rod flame, mm -hmm. a little more toyish, but yeah. it fits the character and it fits the image of, of the truck and the product. Yeah. You also notice the red, the subtleties. Yeah. The red is a brighter red at the front and fades to a darker red in the rear. Oh, does it? Something people don't see, but if you look at our initial renderings, yeah. through here the red's getting slightly darker. Yeah, yeah. All of the hand pinstriping, hand shadowing, and dimensional airbrushing was pretty, yeah. pretty incredible. Michael requested a the production headlight, it's obviously much taller, yeah. being legal. Michael wanted something that was <laughs> squashed a little more horizontal okay. to give it character. Mm -hmm. And then that was handled by Twins Custom Coaches and Dimitri, mm -hmm. the designer. Dimitri came up with multiple renderings, ideas, concepts, and then we worked with Ben Edelberg to figure out what elements out of all those designs we wanted to bring it together. The halos around the main headlights themselves yeah. add that eyeball and mm -hmm. character element. The inside's actually all machined ABS. Mm -hmm. Outside is billet aluminum. Yeah. Obviously then engineered to go together, to package, to mount the lights in it. Now let's talk about this. This, okay, let me tell you about my nah. theatrical experience. When I saw the Autobot logo materialize, and when I heard the original transforming sound from the 1984 cartoon, it goes, Ch -ch 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 -ch. I literally clapped in the theater. <laughs> it was an ex amazing experience for me. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about how this came about and uh, what was the process in making this happen? It may look complicated, this is actually pretty simple. Obviously the logo was on the original truck, yeah. they need to carry over. The peripheral shape is the shape of the new 5700 hood handle. Mm -hmm. Obviously what we had to incorporate was to make the logo big enough yeah. and also the grab handle. So this okay. does double duty. The process really that was Ben Edelberg, myself um, and one of my engineers doing most of it in Katia, in mm -hmm. CAD. A mm -hmm. couple of renderings to give proportions and ideas. That was actually pretty simple and an easy sign off from, from Michael Bay. Looks dimensionally, it's not huge, but on the back side, there's a lot of what we call B-side geometry okay. and material. So with design and everything else, each one of these, we're probably looking around $10,000 in machine time. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us Optimus Prime. You're welcome. And I'm actually really curious, for the audiences that don't know, what is what is Daimler and Western Star? Like, how are they related? Or, uh, can you tell us more about, about that? Daimler Trucks North America owns yeah. Freightliner, Western Star, and Thomas Bill School Buses. Oh, Daimler really? is obviously Mercedes products worldwide, okay. so Daimler worldwide. I heard Freightliner. Freightliner is the company that is Galvatron, right? Galvatron from the movie? Absolutely. Is Galvatron here too? He's here on the island, yes. Uh, can we take a look at Galvatron? Sure. Let's check out Galvatron. So we are here with the awesome looking and menacing looking Galvatron. And what I want to know is, how were you involved with Galvatron, the Freightliner Argosy? Ben and Michael wanted a cab over. So they chose the Argosy, the flat function truck. Yep. Ben's E74 design team did most of the sketches and renderings, color samples and that we produced, along with prefix, um, which then went back to Michael Bay for approval. Probably a lot more straightforward and simple, simpler than uh, Optimus Prime and the process, but ultimately I was responsible for the build with prefix and Ben Edelberg handled most of the design work on this truck. 
cool. I noticed that there's some pretty awesome features like uh, these lights here. Is there any special features that you really, really like about this truck? You just mentioned That was the main the thing, right? <laughs> and we have them so they run um, obviously sequentially across, but we can increase and decrease the speed that yeah. the lights run. And then all of the blue lights you see are on a color wheel, thanks to prefix that we can rotate the color wheel and change to any color we want. The grill is pretty much stock. Yeah. In fact, we painted it. This nose piece is all new. Obviously the headlights are new. <coughs> the whole of the side of the truck was reskinned. Yeah. To get this dimensional feature to it. Fuel tanks are Australian spec. We wanted square tanks for it. Still a lot of work done to it. Not as much as Optimus, but there's still a, a lot of modifications. The blacked out vinyl on the on the mirror. Yeah. Just, Just find little details. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you feel about the way he's portrayed in the movie? This is this is the truck from from Daimler. So, what do you think? Transformers: Age of Extinction. We also can see him in the clinic, in the warehouse, yeah. in yeah. the laboratory. Yeah. Um, and a lot more footage of the truck than we ever imagined. So, yeah, incredible. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, Transformers: Age of Extinction. He looked awesome. So. Uh, Chris, thanks for your time. I really Thank appreciate you. it. It's been a pleasure. And um, you've provided us with a lot of information about uh, the, the Freightliner RGZ as Galvatron and also uh, Optimus Prime as the Western Star 5700. And they both look great. And you can check them both out in Transformers Age of Extinction. And there you have it. I can't believe that I'm actually standing here right next to Optimus Prime. This is truly an amazing opportunity and I'd like to say thank you to the fine folks over at Western Star for this great and unforgettable opportunity and also thank you to everybody who worked on Transformers Age of Extinction it was a lot of fun very entertaining and I can't wait to uh, own that movie and add it to my collection anyways thank you everybody for watching I am very happy to uh, bring this uh, this moment to you guys watching at home and once again, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation, also follow me on Twitter, at The Raging Nation. My name is Alex, you from The Raging Nation, and thank you for watching Autobots Rollout. And I'd like to thank Andy, the whole marketing team, the crew that put it together, the company put it together, Twins Custom Coaches, Eric Black, yeah. Don Vanna, yeah. Paul and Patton, Creation Composites, yeah. and uh, Wild Factory. Uh, okay. Paul and Dimitri, another design, one of the guys did a lot of design work for the headlights. Incredible team, all work together harmoniously to bring this product together within four months. You guys have an incredible team definitely because uh, with all you guys together, this is the result and I'm, you know all the fans are really happy about it. So great, great. job to all of you. Thank you. Yeah.